You know, we do a lot of second dates on this show, and we have people who email us for second dates all the time. All mm-hmm. the time. All the yeah. time. Like, and some of those people become friends of the show because we get to know them because they've done more than one second date. Uh oh. Especially one person. Oh no. Who emails us a lot. And I wouldn't even really consider her a friend of the show anymore. I kind of consider her more a family member almost. I'd like to introduce you to our friend, Uh-oh. Hailstorm. What's up, Hailstorm? Hailstorm. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Girl, you haven't changed a bit, have you? She's back. Oh my God, never, you guys, never. Hey. Her name is Haley. She goes by Hailstorm. She's done a couple second dates, even an awkward Tuesday phone call, I think. And I realized it today, Hailstorm. I don't think of you as like a friend of the show. I think of you as like my wild little sister. Oh my god! Yeah, who I encourage to go out and get wild because I'm a good brother. That's not usually what brothers do, yeah. man. That's kind of gross. Don't ever ask me to like fight somebody for you because I will run the other direction. <laughs> so, what's up today, hailstorm? Oh my gosh, you guys! I had a crazy weekend, and I need your help. Uh-oh. Oh my god! So wait, Haley, why are you doing all these second dates? Is your dating life that bad? No, I have dates all the time. It's just the ones that never call me back that like piss me off. Okay. <laughs> and so you want to know why they're not calling you back? Exactly. What happened this crazy weekend though? So I went to a Halloween party. Uh-huh. It was a friend of a friend's house party. So I didn't really like know who was throwing it, but whatever. Like I'll go. Yeah. Okay. And I dressed up because it was a Halloween party. So okay. I was a naughty librarian. Oh, oh nice. Not very possible. creative. Most librarians are actually naughty. So it's not no. even a costume. <laughs> okay, so naughty librarian. And I'm assuming you looked hot. Oh, my gosh. Like the hottest girl at the party. Uh-huh. I had a cardigan, glasses, like the long skirt. My hair was pulled back in a bun, and I was carrying a dictionary. (laughs) You're starting to sound just like kind of like the dowdy librarian by that description, Haley, not the naughty one. Uh, I make dowdy look hot. Okay. Okay. All right. I can get behind that. All right. So how'd you meet the person that you want to call today? I was having some drinks, and, like, I couldn't even keep track of all the dudes that were hitting on me because it was just, like, all of them just flocking towards me. They were oh. obsessed. It sounds like yeah. a fun night for you. Yeah. Jeez. It sounds like a typical night for Hailstorm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm like totally crushing it. And this one guy, James, uh-huh. he comes up to me and he had the best pickup line. I just melted right then and there. What was Ooh. it? He said, Can I borrow your dictionary? And I was like, why? And he was like, because I want to see your picture under the word adorable. Oh, oh come God. on. Oh, Hailstorm. Haley. That didn't make you puke just a little bit. Oh, my God. No. It was so cute. I was like, okay, sure. Oh, so, oh my um, gosh. Well, maybe you guys are a match made in heaven then if you liked that. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward like 35 minutes later. We're upstairs hooking up. What? Okay. Nice. Haley, that right. was quick work. Thank you. So, <laughs> Haley, I mean, like, how was the hookup, I guess I should know, first? Well, it was good. The thing is, there were these signs that said, like, don't go upstairs, no entry, blah, blah, blah. And oh, because you were at somebody's house and they didn't want people partying there and ruining their upstairs. Don't have a party if you don't want the consequences of a party. Like, yep. right? I'm with you on exactly. that one, actually. Any kind of party, you have to know somebody is going to mess around in your bed at some point. Right, exactly. So we're up there and it's so hot because we're in costumes. So we're just like being our characters. So I was like being a librarian, being like, shh, shh. Be quiet, you know. No, this isn't while while you guys were doing stuff. This is before, maybe we. This is like while we're doing stuff. We were like oh. already. Role wait, wait. Uh, really role playing. Wait, but we haven't heard. What was he dressed as? He was a pirate. Oh, okay, so okay. A in lot of pirates, booty. yeah, they don't respect the rules of the library no. at all. Mm-mm. No, so they don't. Like, so hot. Okay, uh-huh. what happened after everything? So we're getting pretty hot and heavy, and then all of a sudden, 
The door swings open, and the host and the hostess are standing there. Oh. Yes. Yeah. No. That's mm-hmm. always an awkward way to get caught, especially when you're with a pirate and you're a librarian. <laughs> exactly. So I snatched up my clothes and scooted on out of there because it was super awkward. And I was like, I don't even know you people. Like, whatever. Oh, that's yeah, right. right. You did, I forgot you didn't know them, huh? No. No, I no, I didn't know them. And, oh, like, no. my friend is, like, pretty pissed at me for doing this. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Yeah. So, wait, Who what cares? did he do? What happened to James the pirate? Okay, so here's the thing. I saw him go outside, and I was like, oh, I'll just, like, go out there and find him. So I, like, went outside, and I was looking for him. And I kept asking strangers, like, hey, have you seen my pirate? There's this pirate <laughs> around here somewhere. <laughs> and everybody acted like I was crazy and whatever. Dude. So I texted him, and I haven't heard anything back. Nothing. And you? do you have any idea why he might not be calling you back? I have no idea. So fun. wait, hold on, though, Haley. I mean, I'm all for if you want to go hook up at a Halloween party as a naughty librarian, good for you. But why are you expecting more out of that? Uh, one, why wouldn't he want to be with me? And two, you didn't get to finish. Like, oh, yeah, I... that's right. You got interrupted. Okay, well, yeah. Hailstorm, you know. I do things halfway. Okay? No. I want to do it all the way or okay. not at all. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. We can tell that all about right. you, Haley. Well, we'll play a song, Haley. You know how it works. We'll play a song, come back, and then call him and get your second date, okay? Sounds good. Hailstorm out. Oh, I, forgot you, I forgot you say that all the time. All right. No, Hang on, it. Haley. Oh, oh Halloween parties. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of people that are in the same position this morning as Hailstorm. <laughs> Wondering why the person they hooked up with at a Halloween party isn't calling them back. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're just joining us, Hailstorm is on the phone. Her real name is Haley, but she goes by Hailstorm. She's been on a few second dates before and even an awkward Tuesday phone call. She met a dude at a Halloween party. She was dressed as a naughty librarian. He was dressed up as a dirty pirate. And then they hooked up. And they got yeah. busted in the middle of the act by the people who were hosting the party. And then she ran out and hasn't heard from him since. Oh. So we're about to get him on the phone and find out why he's not calling her back. Hailstorm? Yeah, baby. Yep. I <laughs> I normally ask people, like, are you ready to go? But I already oh, know you're ready, Haley. right? Oh, so ready. Mm-hmm. Oh. Haley, you know, I mean, you only talked to this guy for like 35 minutes before you guys hooked up. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's probably not calling you back because he actually doesn't know you at all. Trust me, from what we were doing, he definitely knows me well enough to call me back. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Haley. I wonder why he's not, because you guys didn't even get to finish what you were doing. Yeah. Because you got in trouble. Don't remind me. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can get you a do-over. I'm going to dial his phone number right now, okay? Okay, thanks. <laughs> yep. Hello? Hi, may I speak to James, please? Yeah, speaking. James, how are you, man? This is Jubal from the radio show, Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Uh, you're a radio show? I am not one myself, but I am on a radio show. <laughs> I'm calling you because one of our listeners actually sent us an email, and they wanted to see if we could get you on the phone. Uh, okay. Who is it? Well, it's somebody that you met this weekend at a Halloween party. Met a lot of people big party uh, just can you just hurry up and tell me who it was and stop trying to be like mr radio man <laughs> i would love to do that I like, um, I like your new title though y- yeah i do <laughs> mr radio man i like it thank you james appreciate it um i'm gonna guess that you remember her because you guys hooked up um oh uh yeah i know who you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, okay <laughs> Well, we do a segment on our show called The Second Date. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody or hook up with somebody at a Halloween party and that person doesn't call you back, you can email us and we'll get them on the phone and ask what happened. So Haley, she wants to know why you won't answer any of her text messages. What do you mean, why? She's taken. She's what? She's what? definitely not taken. Yeah, no, bro. she's very single. She's like <laughs> as single as they come. But no, no, she, she is taken. I, I Trust me, she's taken. 100%. What? So wait, you think she's in a relationship is what you're saying? I know she's in a relationship. How do you know that? Because her boyfriend came up to me afterwards and was giving me crap. That's why we, we, we had a scrap. We had a full scuffle about it in the backyard. What? Wait, what? You had a fight with a guy who said that she, he was Hailstorm's boyfriend? 
I don't know, the hailstorm, whatever that is. But, <laughs> yeah, after I went downstairs and I almost I had a fight with a guy in the backyard dressed like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> you almost... You were dressed like a pirate, and you almost had to fight the Incredible Hulk. Whoa. No, I did fight the Incredible Hulk. Oh, I dude. He started swinging at me. Okay. Oh, this sounds like a bad memory for you. This, I think this is a really cool memory. Sounds like a cool movie. Sounds like something cool that happened. Yeah, seriously. I want to see it in theaters. Okay, I know you guys are amazed at the costumes, but, like, we... Haley is a person that calls into our show every so often, and mm. although she's wild, a little wild child, I get that, but, like, <laughs> she doesn't have a boyfriend. Like, there's no way she has a boyfriend. Well, if she doesn't have a boyfriend, then why did the Incredible Hulk try to fight me and tell me that I was messing around with his girlfriend? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he got confused? There's something missing here. I don't know what happened. I just He came up to me afterward. He said, why are you messing around with my girl? I said, what girl? He said that she was his, and he was drunk. Next thing you know is we're swinging. And <gasps> I was, pushed him off. Everybody was coming around being like, hey, break it up, everything like that. And I was like, you know what? This isn't worth it. I'm out of here. This is this is not even worth it. I already got humiliated by getting walked in on and come downstairs and having this big old green guy try to get up in my business. It just wasn't worth it. So Some why? people like it when a big green guy has to get up in their business. <laughs> Side note. Anyway, sorry about that you had to deal with that. But but she's been texting you. Why wouldn't you just text her back and say, you have a boyfriend, you're a cheater, or whatever you want to accuse her of? I don't even want to encourage her. I'm just, I'm out. That's it. I am out. Oh, yeah, it's understandable. Man. I mean, you were just like, you met her what? Like an hour before you guys started messing around? Yeah. Besides, I mean, I didn't even get her number or anything, so I'd just been getting, like, random texts from this number. I didn't know who it was. I just ignored it. Okay. Well, you're not going to be able to ignore it now, James, so much, (laughs) because she's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Are you kidding me? (laughs) No, I'm not. Hey, James. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Excuse me, I do not have a boyfriend, okay? (laughs) Then explain to me why this guy tried to fight me. Yeah, that's Luke. He's like a sad puppy that I gave a biscuit to once or twice, and he's obsessed with me and won't stop (laughs) calling me and texting me. He's like, he's not my boyfriend. (laughs) So you know who it is, though, Hailstorm. Yeah, I know Luke. He's like the saddest thing I've ever seen. Haley, that's just mean, man. Um, It's mean to start fighting boys that I'm interested in and (laughs) calling yourself my boyfriend. Like, sorry, no. Do you believe her, James? I don't know what to believe, honestly. Like, I met this amazing girl, and then the Incredible Hulk's coming after me, and now I'm getting punked on a radio station. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot going on in your life right now. Yeah, it's kind of hectic. Oh, but you did think that she was amazing. Yeah, I heard you say that. (laughs) uh, You know, I thought you were cool. I mean, I didn't really know you that well, but I would have liked to, and I thought you were cool. Uh, Excuse me, you just said amazing. You used the word amazing to describe me, which, guys, I know we haven't met because we only talk on the radio, but, like, I am amazing. (laughs) Oh, I've never doubted you, Storm. I've always known that about you. You market and self-confidence that's for sure girlfriend thank you thank you so hailstorm do you know that this luke dude thinks you're his girlfriend like do you Uh, know this no i had no idea he's just doing this so that i'll reach out to him and talk to him i've been ghosting him for a while and he's following me around i didn't even know he would be at that party Ugh. wait was he your boyfriend and then you ghosted him and that's how you broke up with him are you sure Haley? No, we're talking about a guy I hooked up with one time, okay? <laughs> he is nothing to me. We need to be focusing on me and James and the hot, hot time we had last Saturday. <laughs> I need to get back in that saddle. You know <laughs> James, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> what, what, what do you, do you think? think? Yeah. Uh, I think there's a lot of drama going on. Okay, let here. me stop you right there. Hold on. Let me stop you right there. I'm sorry that I'm an amazing person and I'm beautiful and people are obsessed with me. Okay, that's not my fault. Please don't punish me because I'm amazing. Your words, not mine, right? Good point. And we didn't get to finish what we started, so I don't think you should make a decision until you've had the whole experience. Oh my God. So why don't we just get back together 
And then if you're still feeling like there's drama or whatever, then you can go your merry way. But don't (laughs) dismiss this so quickly just because we have the radio calling you and, like, the Incredible Hulk, like, trying to take you down. (laughs) Don't don't dismiss it right away, James. That was a good sales pitch. I will give that to Haley for sure. You can overcome adversity, James. Would you like to go out with Haley one more time? We will pay for it. At this point, it's probably going to be a Motel 6, but we'll pay for something. Whatever you guys are going to do. She's classier than that. Uh... I mean, I don't want to get cornered in a parking lot or beaten up by the Incredible Hulk again or anything like that. Oh, my gosh. I'll protect you. It'll be okay. I promise. (laughs) Okay. And because we didn't get to finish what we started on our date, I'll dress up like that naughty librarian again. Oh, so you're going to put on your Halloween costume. It's not really a Halloween costume anymore, just because I get so many compliments. It's made its way into my regular wardrobe. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, there is so, no guy that's going to turn this off or yeah. down, Haley. James, it's just not going to happen. On, do you want to meet up with Haley one more time, and she will wear her sexy librarian costume that she was wearing <laughs> when she met you at the Halloween party? If he and you says, can dress like a pirate if you want oh to. Oh my god, if he says no, I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> you know what, YOLO? At this point, I'm in. Hey! I'm sure. Yeah. From the way Haley described wow. it, it is worth a punch in the face from the Incredible Hulk, apparently. Hell yeah. You guys, I'll send you a picture, okay? Of you okay. guys? Absolutely. Cool. No, okay. No. Sweet. No, that's not what she meant. <laughs> yeah. That is what I meant. I'll send it. I don't care. Oh my yeah, God, send Haley. it in. <laughs>